Welcome, everyone, uh, and thank you all for coming today to uh, this exciting launch of InSpace. Before we start, I'd like to acknowledge and celebrate the first Australians on whose traditional lands we meet this morning and pay my respects to elders past, present, and emerging. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, many of the senators and members of parliament uh, who are taking time out of what we know is a very busy schedule here, and I'm very pleased to welcome Senator Fawcett, Senator Carr, Senator Pratt, Richard Marles MP, Nick Champion MP, Senator Smith, Senator Patrick, and Susan Templeton MP. Thank you all for joining us. Distinguished guests, colleagues, and friends, special welcome to Minister Karen Andrews, Ministry, uh, Minister of Industry, Science, and Technology for being here today to officially launch the ANU Institute for Space in Space. Minister Andrews continues to be a strong supporter of everything science, technology, and research at ANU and indeed across the sector, and we very much appreciate your support. I'd also like to uh, welcome uh, our other speakers today, Professor Anna Moore, director of our new ANU Institute for Space, uh, and the director, uh, she's also the director of our Advanced Instrumentation and Technology Center, one of the crown jewels of the Australian technology scene, which we host up at Mount Stromlo. Uh, Mr. James Caruso, the U.S. Charge d'Affaires, uh, great to have you here today. And Mr. Valentin Marino Villeneuve, the head of Airbus Defense uh, and Spatial Australasia. Thank you, wherever you are. There we go. Um, as Australia's national university, ANU has a unique and important role in policy making, research, and in innovation. And so we're trying to think outside the box of how to support Australia's agenda. Uh, we have had established excellence in space technology, research and development uh, for decades. And we want to leverage that for the space industry, for Australia, to grow and prosper in the uh, years and decades to come. Our new institute will be the front door to space activities and capabilities across the university, including technology research, development, science missions, space test facilities, commercial space law, and business and finance initiatives relating to space. Really everything you can imagine. And it's not just for ANU, it is for the nation. It will drive co-investment with industry and government partners and focus on cross-disciplinary projects and initiatives to support the Australian space business development. InSpace will bring together the best and brightest from ANU and the globe to solve the hard problems that need to be solved if we're going to get a space industry up and going here in Australia. This new institute builds on our commitment to establish institutes of innovation that deliver world-class research outcomes and impact uh, for government, for civil society, and the private sector. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to invite Minister uh, Andrews to speak. Thank you, Karen. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Schmidt, for the opportunity to be here this morning and for your very kind introduction. Can I also acknowledge all of the very distinguished guests who are here today and my parliamentary colleagues and, in fact, everyone who has come along today to support the ANU, to support the space industry and, of course, to support in space. Clearly the space industry in Australia is a growing sector and you can just sense the excitement from not only our young people for, but from academia, from industry, in the potential that the space industry has to offer to Australia. So I'm delighted with the work that the ANU has done and will continue to do in this sector. Now the Coalition Government committed $41 million to establish the Australian Space Agency and since that time Professor Megan Clark has certainly hit the ground running to promote all things space here in Australia. But if we are to grow the space sector, which currently sits at about $3.9 billion in Australia and employs about 10,000 people, to what we are projecting will be a $12 billion industry by 2030 and employing some 20,000 people, it's essential that we engage academia and the business sector to jointly work together to make sure that we are innovating, that we are conducting appropriate research and development to build and strengthen that sector. InSpace has a, a unique opportunity to be part of the growth of the sector here in Australia and I'm very confident that ANU will continue to take a leading role. 
I'm very supportive and very appreciative of an industry who is already engaged. And I know that together the ANU and business will certainly be kicking some goals into space. Congratulations on the work that, uh, that you have done so far. I wish you all the very best for the future and I am delighted that I'm part of the journey starting here today. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Minister Andrews, and indeed, uh, we look forward to uh, taking this journey together and with many of the great guests here. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to invite uh, Professor Anna Moore uh, to speak. Uh, we recruited Anna from Caltech. Uh, most of you will know that as a home of JPL, although she worked in the astronomy department there. Uh, she has a long history here in Australia. It is great to have her back leading uh, not just uh, space, but all of our instrumentation here at ANU, where we are truly a world leader. Anna? So it's, thank you, everyone. Uh, it's a great honor to be director of the ANU Institute for Space. Um, I'm very grateful to Brian and the ANU leadership for their support and vision in setting up this institute. So the goals of InSpace are ambitious. We will be tapping into uh, the talent across the whole university, from physics and astronomy, my own area, medicine, engineering, earth sciences, all the way to law, policy, um, and uh, economics and business. The common theme to any of our programs is that they will be transformative. That is the only requirement. We, be, we are working with our industrial partners and our international collaborators on a range of exciting projects, and they will be announced as they come online during 2019 and onwards. Uh, ANU's mission is to be the leader in Australia and to change the world, and I'm very confident that InSpace will enable that vision and that mission in the area of Australian space. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, and your intellectual leadership is exactly what we need uh, to help uh, Australia achieve what its goals are, and we really appreciate you being prepared to step up to what is uh, incredibly challenging, and we hope we uh, a role with huge opportunities along with the challenges. Uh, it is, as we have noted, an international endeavor, and so it's great to have two of our international uh, uh, representatives here. Uh, and so first, I'm going to have Mr. James Caruso, uh, Charge of Affairs of the U.S. Embassy here in Canberra, uh, to come up and address us all. Thank you, James. Thank you, Brian. Uh, great to see so many people out here for something like this. Uh, I'm a child of the 60s, sitting in my cardboard space capsule watching the launch at six in the morning thinking I was there. This was a time that instilled confidence and hope in my generation. And now we're in a new generation where companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic are going to inspire the next generation to say, what can I do in this new field where uh, launch is cheaper and more possible, where CubeSats can can do things no one ever dreamed of. And I'm so pleased that Australia, just in the past year, has stood up a space agency, and now this great in-space uh, effort, which is going to take uh, fields across, across, uh, across human endeavor to see what can we do in space. And the United States reaches out and wants to work with Australia across all this. We're having our first bilateral space dialogue at the end of the year. Uh, we're just going to look at this on a government-to-government basis, and I hope university-to-university university we can do more together as well. My embassy here is anxious to work with anyone who wants to about how we can do more together. Uh, it's an exciting time. I envy all you people younger than 30 that can see this as a future, and I wish you all the best of luck in space, and uh, off we go to the moon. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and first I have to introduce uh, my colleague, uh, Mr. Villeneuve from uh, Air Airbus, please. Good morning, everybody, distinguished uh, minister and senators. Uh, thank you for bringing me here as an industry space representative. I have to say there is no 
a single day when I'm not talking about space, special startups, uh, launch with my Australian colleagues, uh, Australian uh, partners, Australian customers. Something is going on in this country. Um, Defence Department is investing a billion dollars per year during 10 years. There is a very special Australian space agency created on the 1st of July. It's the fastest growing space uh, startup economy in the world per capita, with 85 startups being created in two years. So I think what I always say to my European colleagues is uh, space is not a burst word in, in Australia anymore. Something is happening. We need to be here. So I truly welcome uh, the In Space Institute, Innovation Institute um, initiative. It is the right uh, thing to do to bring everything under one roof, uh, to actually give us a place to go, uh, to actually talk with academia and to uh, hopefully create uh, the future of the space sovereign capability of Australia and the one roof uh, together with you. We've got, I, th I truly believe we are walking the talk when I, when I say that not only we are an industry based on cooperation, but we are cooperating with Australia. We are the first one signing an agreement with the space agency. We are the first one investing in the SmartSat CRC. Uh, we are going to launch our high altitude pseudo satellite here in West Australia at the end of November. Uh, we're really trying to find the good connections with you. So really um, excited about what you're doing. Congratulations, Anna. Uh, it's been a long process during the last couple of years, but that's going to be, I think, the beginning of uh, a truly great story for Australia. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Valentin, and uh, I can certainly say it's been a pleasure working with Airbus over the last couple of years, even before we knew we had a space agency. Uh, you've really been uh, highly engaged. Uh, we have a whole bunch of highly engaged people here, uh, people from all sides of the equation of what uh, the Australian uh, Space Agency is going to do. I encourage you to take a little bit of time uh, to talk. I'm incredibly encouraged by having both sides of Parliament uh, here today. Um, to thrive, we're going to need a decade-long plan. Uh, and uh, I am really pleased to see uh, that Australia is coming together. And uh, ANU will be there to help deliver. Uh, I look forward to hearing everyone's ideas. Uh, as uh, An uh, Anna said, we need to make sure we're transformative. So think big, uh, and uh, we'll listen. Thank you all for coming. I encourage you to uh, have some uh, refreshments and uh, look forward to seeing you around and uh, making uh, the big uh, leaps forward uh, in the years to come. Thank you all.